Quiver! Martin! You know, I've been thinking about it. I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. And frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on then. I'll see you soon. any telltale signs. It's a poorly maintained vehicle, probably not insured. <laughs> On the seat there. <laughs> you see that stain? Hot sauce. Smell any funny spices? I don't see anything, boss. Hey, give me documents. What? Passport, давай, ебать, мам. I don't fucking understand you. Ah, да ты по английски не шаришь. Что за хуйня с тобой? Я говорю, паспорт покажи. Все вы нелегалы как один. Ты под гражданским арестом, ты понял? Америка страна возможностей, а я воспользуюсь возможностью послать тебя обратно через границу, откуда ты приперся. What? <laughs> Very good, Joseph. Real fine. We'll make a civilian protector of our nation's borders from undesirable elements of you yet. Sorry, citizen, just a training exercise. Ah, okay. Well, I'm so glad that you patriots are out here defending this fine American desert. Sand! Well, thank you. When you could be in town fucking some girls and further destroying the gene pool! Hey, there's a real problem here. Да, люди мотивированы необходимостью прокормить свои семьи. Едут сюда работать по черному за копейки и прут, прут в эту страну! It's a disaster! And that's why we form the Civil Border Patrol. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! My Patriot meter's going off. Huh? <laughs> come on, both of you. We've got some illegals over them hills. Come on, come on, you drive. You drive, let's go. Drive, get in the back. What's your name, citizen? I'm Joe, that there's Joseph. Trevor. Okay, Trevor. Well, it's saying we need to head for the Yellow Jack Inn. Oh, good. They love me in there. I'm definitely getting a strong reading. The Patriot Meter predicts undesirables with up to 79% accuracy. <laughs> Surely this is a sick joke. I mean, I love hanging with freaks, but you two losers cannot be for real. Unfortunately, this is as real as it gets. These people are criminals who threaten our way of life and drive down our property prices. Они думают, что могут приехать сюда в поисках лучшей жизни для себя и своей семьи. Это противоречит Конституции. Come one, come all, I say. This country's got bigger problems to deal with. <laughs> well, that's because you've been brainwashed by the secular media. Don't you worry, though. We'll convert you. My brother showed some, uh, well, let's just call it sexual weakness in his younger days. But now he's a happily married man with three children, and he rarely acts out. Well, if you do well in your civil board at patrol trial... Well, they must be inside. Go see if you can flush them out, Trevor. 
Banned. Is anyone not banned? Don't you cause no trouble now. Oh, this is pointless. Everyone in here has done something illegal. me, okay? Hey, Trevor, get out here now! They're in that car, let's go! Quick, they're getting away! Go, go! Let's bring him in, boys! Here, take the stun gun! Really? Nobody needs to die here, we're civilized people. Jesus! Mariachi singers, the worst of the bunch. You know, you can't take a subway in peace in Liberty City these days. Hold on your pointed hats. We're taking the scenic route. They're a law unto themselves. Hey, hey, you. We do want to. Stop the vehicle. This is a citizen's arrest. Well, of course they wouldn't understand me. Now would they, Joseph? Они отказываются ассимилироваться. Can you believe they're singing? It's like they don't even care. You can keep your socialist ballad to revolution and discontent to yourself. I don't know. They come here taking our job. All those mariachi singer jobs have been stolen. They don't just take one. No. Some of them are doing two or three thankless little pay jobs to support their families. It's an outrage. I'm a Teddy. Look, now, now's our chance. Don't subdue those illegals, Trevor. I want to see how you handle that stun gun. Soy bien bellos. Sorry about that, pal. Don't apologize to them. They're the ones breaking the law here. Okay, okay. I do what you say. Oh, very nice, Trevor. Respectful, but firm. Firm. We can handle it from here. Get in the vehicle. You've had your fun. It's time to go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's move it along, senor. Please, no more. I go with you. You don't like music? Ты пренебрег щедростью этой прекрасной нации. Thanks for the help, 
Братья, за короля и страну! One more? No, I think there's room for a little one. Shit. Dark bag! So, big favor. Can you take me to the top of Vinewood Hills by the sign? Crap! Thanks, this is so sweet of you. I was starting to think no one was going to stop. Short dress, boots, vulnerable but playful demeanor. What more does a girl have to do these days? You cast out this kind of bait, you'd expect at least a couple of old sharks to come sniffing. But along you came. Thank God. Uh, less of the old, please. I'm in the prime of my life. Just promise me you're not going to wear my skin or imprison me in a crawl space for 20 years? Joke. Kind of. You're cool, right? Sorry, I'm coming down. I've been parting like a biatch. Yesterday was a blizzard, man. I don't even remember getting out of bed, let alone going to bed. Good times. Okay. And what's on top of the Vinewood Hills? I'm going to see my man. He's a security guard at the broadcast tower right behind the famous Vinewood sign. He's been stressed out, really working long hours, so I thought I'd surprise the big luck. We haven't seen each other for like a week. Or maybe it's two. I don't know. Crazy how time flies. Wait, that's my phone. Speak of the devil. Hey, sweetie, I was just talking about you. To this guy who was nice enough to give me a ride? No, not like that. I'm pitching back into town. Yeah, I know what happened last time, but I'm pretty sure this guy is okay. I ran out of money or I would have gotten a cab. Yes, all the thousand you gave me? What's the big deal? I said I'd pay you back. I'm sorry, okay? My phone was out of juice. I only just got it charged. I was staying at a friend's at Sandy Shores. You know, Brianna or Susie. No, I haven't spoken to him in weeks. This is just some random guy, I swear. Calm down, babe. Look, would you tell him? Are you talking to me? Yes, tell him you're not a guy called Brian. You're just some random guy. What? Just shout it. I'm just some random guy not called Brian. There, babe, you believe me now? Babe! Babe! Shit, he hung up on me. Sorry about that. So, on a scale of one to ten, how well do you think that went? He'll be fine when I surprise him. Probably just having a bad day. He can never stay mad at me for long. Opposites attract, you know. Oh my god! You lose...
report. Assault with a deadly weapon. West of the CNT building. Thanks. Hi, check out the pics on the wall, or we do custom. I've done all these a hundred times. I'm good at it. Some award-winning art in there.
Later. We have the suspect in sight. Citizens report an attack on a vehicle on uh, Armadillo Avenue. We have a person resisting arrest on Yankudo Avenue. Smells like home. Stuff simply does nothing for me, not nothing at all. Not a thing, I'm totally fine. Fine and suicidal.
getting raw. Ah! Ah! Oh, Lord. Sweet Jesus! I just hope that broke your goddamn neck! Fuck. I'm free! Move! Uh. Uh. Oh, I am so sorry!
you been swimming in some hell toilet? Time to say goodbye and shit. Damn it. This Marvel. is just a robbery! Ah. Thanks. Oh! 
That was close! There you are, Trevor. Oh, if it ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them, and they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. This is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. With me. I'll lead us further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else or nothing else out here. But we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. 
Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle for you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. shot like a true professional okay follow me we'll move a little further in stay quiet i think we might have a mating pair up ahead let's check it out now, remember if it's a pair we're only here for the male no does that's my rule so if you see one with no antlers leave it be blow your whistle again see if you can get a beat on them Okay, this is good. Same as before, nice and steady. Give him another call.
Smelled you coming. Uh, try that whistle again. the flatheads. No dough. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before. Nice and steady. Don't overthink it. Follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No dough. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on it.
Okay, this is good. Same as before, nice and steady. Lay him in the shade. Give another honk on that diaphragm. So you got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while. the photo another nice kill so this is what i'm thinking all this demand for wild raised meat with them city folks right now if we divide and conquer i reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline text me a photo of your quarry i'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up soon as i can i like my meat with some age on it anyways uh, what do you say yeah i say we'll see i got a few other irons in the fire at the moment all right, well, the offer's there, and you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you.